Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Recently, Alex and I built this butterfly habitat. We built it because his Nana gave us some flat leaf parsley that had eggs on it. The black swallowtails that these are favor the flat leaf parsley because apparently that's what their babies like to eat. So in this video, we're gonna show you how we built this habitat. So Alex started by cutting out two circles, one inside, one outside on the scroll saw. He's been using the scroll saw for quite a few years now. He's getting pretty good at it. We've got one flat spot where we're gonna place the hinge. And there we go. Check this out. It even rolls. Not that it has to, but it does. Alrighty, on to the next thing. Oh, yep, that rolls too, even with this flat spot. So now we cut the hinge that we're gonna need. And now Alex is trying to do some math to figure out how we gotta cut this rod into thirds. And now I'm marking this with my compass because we've got to figure out where those three rods that support the ceiling are going to go. And so using an old trick here, we're marking three little spots where we got to drill. So using this Forstner bit, we're boring halfway through this top ring and stopping right there. Coming back up, we're only drilling three because we want this to be as open as possible. We're not putting in solid walls. Alex thought pillars would be a good idea, and I think he's right. And so now we use a tiny bit because we have to locate these holes for when we uh, drill the pillar holes into the bottom. So we're using these tiny drill bits in the tips of the Forstner bit so that we can see where this is going to go. Because otherwise we might not align these properly. Because I guarantee you these aren't perfect. So what we're doing is lining these up. Alex is making an index mark so that we can realign it because there's three possible ways it could go and only one of them's right. And so now we're going to use a little trick here where we sink this drill bit back into that hole. We're going to lo use this first hole to locate the hole. This is the sander platen from my uh, sander. It's a defective one. And so it's got a sandpaper surface. And we're going to leave that drill bit in there and get two more small ones. And that way these don't come out of alignment. I always leave drill bits in things to help align them because it's super simple. And so now we drill this second hole not quite all the way through. Actually, yeah, we're going to go all the way through. And that'll locate that hole. And then we're going to come back here in a second with the Forstner bit and finish it out. But we're going to stop the drill in the wood, release it, and that way it's aligned. And now we can drill our third hole on the other side. So now that we've located our holes here, Alex can use the Forstner bit to bore halfway through. And then we'll have a nice little counter bore to sink our pillars into. I think this is going to look really cool. All right, good job, Bubba. Two more. Right about there, yep, okay. Now we'll do a test fit here with our three pillars and check our index mark. Yep, nope, it's over there. We've got to rotate just a little bit. Yep, there we go. Because I'm sure my compass work wasn't precise. I would like to think it was, but it probably wasn't. All right, those fit quite well. You always want to test something before you put it together. He needs to learn this now. All right, good job, bub. What do you think? Cool. It does look like a water wheel. All right, and now we're going to put glue in each of these little pockets, and we're going to glue these pillars in. All right, now we're going to clamp it up for quite a few hours, like so. And check it one more time, because anytime you put a quick grip clamp on this, things inevitably move. Little correction here, not much, like a sixteenth. All right, and now we wait. And then now he installs the hinge while the little one watches planes fire and rescue in the background. Both boys like to hang out out here. I don't blame them either. It's my favorite spot outside of the house. It'd be my favorite spot in the house if it were in the house, but it's not. All right. And so now we've got some 1 8 inch mesh left over from a coffee roaster that I made for a friend. 
and we're shooting staples in it. I'm not lining it up quite with the top because I've got a plan to conceal these rough edges. And so cut the excess off and it rolls, which we don't need it to. And top. There's a little tab in there so that the lid doesn't fall through when it's shut. We've got a little, little tab on there. You can see it's quarter inch Baltic birch. And now this is an old piece of, from Ollie's changing table. I'm cutting the veneer off two sides because why not? This is trash anyway. But now I'm going to use this veneer to conceal those rough edges on the uh, mesh. A couple thumbtacks here to hold it down. And then I'm lacing up the mesh with some copper wire because why not? Didn't really have any other way to do it. I was going to install a solid piece, but I decided to just lace it up. And here you can see our caterpillars just hanging out. We've got a couple parsley plants in there now. There are 11 caterpillars in this thing at the moment. There's no risk of them flying out, but you can see them just chilling here on their branches. These guys like flat leaf parsley the best, and they eat it like it's going out of style. I don't think it is, but they eat it as if it were. So you can see this guy here, the black with the yellow stripe. These are black swallowtail caterpillars, and these are our favorite. Well, the habitat's done. You can see we've got three butterflies now. There's two more chrysalises, chrysalises, that's fun to say, that are hopefully going to hatch fairly soon, and the cycle will start all over again. But we're going to release these guys. We aren't equipped right now, since winter's coming, to grow a whole nother set of caterpillars and everything. But this has been a really amazing, fun project. I definitely recommend that you guys get with your kids and do this butterfly thing if you have a chance. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.